Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to using a projector for airbrushing. Now, when you're a beginner, you find it really hard to get an image across to the piece you are working on, whether that be a motorbike tank, the side of a car, an actual wall in a house or something that you're working on. When it comes to small things, you're used to using sort of like tracing methods where you put like a white background or a black background and you use things called like trace down and things like that to get your image across and then you can start airbrushing. But I always find projectors are really, really handy guys because you get a quality image going across. You can stand in the shadow. I'll put a little video up now. This is a piece that I worked on using a projector and it was on a wall. It made life a lot easier because you can zoom out and you can size your image up really, really easy. When you've got a printer and you're going down the trace down route, you're sort of limited to the size of image that you can get, like A4, A3, the sort of like the biggest sort of size of the print you can get. And to get a printer that can print bigger is a lot of money. So the next option is projectors. Now I've got some here, I've got a new edition, and I'll talk you through that one in a minute, but I'll go through some of the old stuff that I've used. We've used an old DLP, Nothing wrong with it, it gets an image across. This is a sharp one. So you can plug, you're limited on the older ones, you can plug certain things in. So you've got your VGA lead for your laptop or computer. You've got S-Video, video, I've got an audio on that, and you've got a USB link as well. So you're sort of limited, you've got all wires and you're trailing around like a laptop or a computer you're plugging into on the DLPs. This is another DLP Optima that I've got. Now this has been my go-to projector for many years, guys. This has been with me for probably 13 years and it still works. It's still on the same bulb as well because bulbs in projectors can cost quite a bit of money. This one has served me really, really well. I used to use the uh, VGA SCAR input with the laptop. The only thing that bugs me with it was a lead coming out the back of the projector. Then you've got the laptop, the power lead, the power lead for this, and you've got all cables and things in the way. But it's been a brilliant projector and I'd still use it now as a backup. So that's another DLP projector. They're good. They put a good image across, but now you're sort of moving on to better end projectors, but you can get better projectors and cheaper. The DLP one there, the Optum one was over 300. The Sharp was over three to 400 when it first came out. And now I picked up, well, I got brought for my 50th and the wife brought me a new projector, is this one here. Now this is a top trio don't know the brand, but it got a good review. Now the bonus with this projector, and I've used this a couple of times now, it has on the projector, this is Wi-Fi enabled. So when you turn this projector on, if you were using it in your home use, you've got apps on the projector like Netflix, YouTube. So you can just stream straight across from it from your Wi-Fi connection, which is a bonus. Now, what I like about this as well, you've got Apple AirPlay on it, and you've got mirroring, which is, all my editing is done with a tablet. So I can just bring the tablet in, stick the tablet on top of this, and then whatever images I'm using or artwork that I've sorted out on the tablet, what I work from, I can just mirror it straight through to the projector, pull the projector back to size it up, but then I've got the function of the pinch and pull on the tablet to size my image up to even a smaller size to whatever I want. So I can just set this up, it's less wires, which is brilliant. So I've not got trailing wires everywhere, I've just got one power lead to this. The inputs on the back of this are HDMI, you've got two HDMIs, you've got two USBs, it's Bluetooth as well, and for the price, for a projector that will get you a full HD image up, and this is crystal clear, guys, it really is. I projected up like artwork, like portraits and things that I'm working on, and it's just brilliant, it really is. You will find when you project something up, like this is an LED projector compared to a DLP projector, 
the images are just a lot sharper, the colours are richer, and you can just sort of stand in the shadow and pencil your outlines, and it makes getting your images across a lot easier. So that's why I'd say, if you're a beginner, and you need to blow something up bigger, projector all the way, guys. It really is a brilliant bit of kit to have with you, especially when you're an airbrusher and you want to get your images across. So I hope this helps you out in some way. If you're looking at transferring images and you need to size them up, if you, especially if you're going into wall art and murals and things like that, you need to be blowing these images up six to seven foot plus on a wall, projector all the way. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, and I'll see you in later on today's video, guys, when we are moving on to some prep work. We are gonna be moving on to this projector as well in the next up and coming video. We're gonna be using it, so you're gonna see this first hand being used, because we've gotta project some artwork up for the next video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.